Hello again, friends, and we continue our adventure in new chapter, Gold Road. In previous part, we learned that uh, there is some uh, big threat from uh, Valenwood and a mysterious uh, forest suddenly appeared in different places in Kalovia and uh, destroyed villages try to destroy it, uh, maybe towns, I don't know. And we learned uh, at the same time about Wild Burn Seed. Additional mysterious thing. And with our friend uh, Beragon we try to find this thing. Because we uh, read the no note uh, of... Uh, uh, forget, forgot... Ah, recollection cult and learn that uh, they are looking for this wild burn seed too and uh, don't know for what so we uh, need to be faster than them now we are uh, in the underground the catacombs uh, alien ruins under the uh, City. Astomir, yes. The place is thick with the recollection. Something interesting here? No. Maybe not. Books? No. Don't worry, don't worry. Soralyn's up ahead. What's she looking at? Do you feel it, Baragon? The grandeur of our history! You're right. These ruins are incredible. Mm hmm. Soralyn was always good at sneaking around. She would have made an excellent scout if she hadn't become a green speaker. Still. How she avoided all these recollection fanatics is beyond me. Well, let's talk to her and see what she wanted to show me. Do you feel it? The power of the Aeliads pervades this place. Millennia separate us from the Heartland High Elves, but I can feel their legacy flowing through my blood. It pains me to see their glory buried in these ruins. What did you bring us down here to show us, Greenspeaker? This was all for Baragon's benefit. You're just an unintended spectator. I brought Baragon here to remind him of his alien heritage. The Recollection remembers their past. This land belonged to the Aeliads, and we, Bosma, are their rightful heirs. Sounds like you admire their Recollection. Not at all. But some of their beliefs match my own. All that aside, I wanted to show Baragon what I found. A new type of seed. It's similar to what we green speakers use to grow and shape tree villages, but different. 
It thrums with unique potential. The wild burn seed. Bug shells! Surprise <laughs> ruined! I wanted to show him the wild burn seed. Talk to him. Discuss the recollection, both the good points and the bad. I suppose he'll want to take the seed before the recollection does. I suggest you hurry. They're close. I will search for the wild burn seed with Beragon. The wild burn seed grows deep in the ruins. I suggest we split up. I'll lead the recollection on a merry chase while you and Baragon find the seed. And don't worry, I'm sure we'll meet up along the way. And Baragon, remember your history. Can you tell me anything else about this Aelid ruin? This style of architecture dates back to the late Marithic era. It combines majesty with practicality, so probably a place for Daedra worship and training. These aliens seem to have been particularly fond of someone they called the Prince of Paths. Oh. How are you going to avoid their recollection of horses? As I said, I plan to keep some of their attention on me instead of you. After that, well, I'm very stealthy. I have no doubt I can elude their patrols. And if I do get into trouble, I'm sure you and Baragon will come to my rescue. Sure. The wild burn seed grows deep in the... These ruins are pretty amazing. If we weren't battling recollection forces and trying to beat them to the wild burn seed, I'd love to just explore them. Some people find the weight of history to be crushing. I find it exhilarating. What did Grinspeaker Soleren uh, mean when she told you to remember your history? An old conversation we used to have. Maybe you'd call it an argument. We need to learn from history, but it doesn't necessarily define us. I'm no more an alien just because they might have been my ancestors than a red guard as a Yokudin. What do you want to do about the Wild Burn Seed? Exactly what Sorolin suggests. We need to find it and keep it out of the hands of the Recollection. If it's somehow connected to the creation of this new forest and the area of devastation, we can't let them get a hold of it. Let's get moving. The Wild Burn... Mm -hmm. Was it a trap or something like that? I thought it's just a book, but not. Uh. Look, green seeker story up on the walkway. See, Baragon! The Colovians built atop our heritage! They buried it all! That's how it works, Sorolin. The new replaces the old. I thought I could convince you that we'd find the wild burn seed together. What? Sorolin, come back! These ruins are pretty and...
now she's up on the ledge. Join me, Baragon. The recollection needs wood elves like you. We can finally claim our rightful inheritance. You're uh. the recollection? Cracked acorns, what are you thinking? Follow her. I'm sorry, but uh, aren't you worrying about that uh, those guys uh, can hear you, friends? Huh? Sorolin joined the recollection? But they're murderers! Oh, this can't be right. I just need to talk to her. Blight and root rot. Maybe she is under a spell or a curse or something. Let's hurry. We need to get to her and that wild burn sea. We will learn something new and uh, something uh, incredible. Maybe that's reason why Solar Wind joined them. Maybe not. Is it? Shrine? Those doors! Let's try there! We need to find that seed! Lower chambers. Dorlin, talk to me! I can't let you take that seed! I won't bite you, Baragon. There are other seeds than these. I'll go after her. Grab the seed and follow after me. Great. Large seed grown under the Aelid ruins near Astomir. It sprang for it sprang from whatever forces created it sprang from whatever forces created the new forest. Hmm. Catch up with Baragon. But they uh, run away from here. Hmm. The recollection seeks justice, 
Aragon, for all Bosma. Spilled blood and disgraced families aren't justice. We've been friends forever. Why won't you trust me? Who knows what other harm the rapid growth caused? I thought you'd understand! I thought you had vision! Westfield. Is my home, said Tribune Alea Idols, Ile Idols. Couldn't catch her. I've known Sorolin for almost my whole life. I cared about her, considered her a friend, perhaps more. Why didn't I see that she had been taken in by the recollection? Maybe I could have done something. Blight, this hurts. Green speaker Sorolin talk, talked about uh, justice and in and uh, an inheritance. Do you know what she meant? Meant. She always claimed alien land belonged to the Wood Elves, but that was purely academic before. Sounds like the recollection promised to make it real. Could be why they wanted the Wildburn seed. Speaking of which, did you get it? Yes, here you go. I've never seen a seed like this before. It feels wrong. You're working with Leramil, right? She yes. needs to know what we discovered here. Meet us back in Skingrad. I have a townhouse there. Oh, and take this. You more than deserve it for helping me. Recollecting Fang. Okay. Sure, my lifelong friend joined a violent cult, but you and I actually did some real good today. We saved people in Ostamir and kept this seed away from the recollection. When you're ready, meet Laramil and me at my townhouse in Skingrad. Yes, I. I very uh, want to meet you in your townhouse, and uh, I would like to get my own townhouse in live server when the chapter will release. So, returning to our question, uh, to our conversation. Uh, why would Greenspeaker Sorlin join the recollection? What do you mean? What do you think? I'm not sure. They certainly spout rhetoric that matches many of her closely held beliefs. I thought those beliefs were simply musings. But the recollection seeks to put them into deadly practice. Be sure, when next we meet, I plan to ask her why. Do you think the ground shaking and the wild burn seed are connected? I have little experience with either, so any speculation is merely a guess. If Ostomir was truly the epicenter of the new forest growth, the land there could simply be unstable. Or perhaps Ifray shook the ground to warn us and get our attention. Well, I need to investigate Rustfall next. And maybe there we will find additional clue. That's Count Calantius' estate. It's just east of Skingrad. It's a beautiful location. As I understand it, the Count uses it as a retreat from the duties of his court and there's lodging for important guests. I'm still waiting for my invitation. <laughs> Shh. 
sure my lifelong friend joined a violent court. Well, we completed the quest, but unfortunately for Ostomir, it's not better. There are a lot of... there are still a lot of monsters. Uh, okay, so... Can I avoid a fight? Um. I need this rain. Oh, friends, let's talk. When my sister came up that hill, I cried. She said a wood elf helped her, but not Baragon. We should have been better neighbors to Valen Wood. Maybe then none of this would have happened. When my sister came... Thank you for all your help. I'll gather what supplies we have and help these people get to Skingrad. <laughs> Looks like you and that wood elf saved more of the people trapped in Ostomir. We can't thank you enough. This guy uh, still <laughs> still eating his soup and cannot finish it. Bon appétit. Look at this way shrine and compare with others. It's like a separate whole house. Well, now we... now I think we go to Elendlin. And this is Skingrad, but you remember that we will meet uh, Lettermill and now Baragon too. And uh, so, there is no sense to check the city now, right now, and uh, because we will return here. So let's go to the Ellen Glen. The new quest. I've got to find some help for Uncle Octavius and Pim. Bella Vestum. Oh, you look like just the sort of heroic warrior I could use. My family's farm is facing some goblin problems right now, and I'm worried my uncle is going to do something terrible. Does that sound like something you could help with? What do you think your uncle is going to do? My uncle Octavius is going to hire some hunters to cull the goblins. But the goblins haven't done anything deserving of full cull yet. Pim says there's a reason for the goblins' behavior. And I believe her. And who's Pim? She's a goblin researcher. Pim's taken special interest in the two tribes which have camps near our farm. She talks about goblins like they're the best thing in all of Westweald. Go talk to Pim. I'm sure she'd pay you for your help. Okay, I'll go in, go find Pim and see if I can help her. I think Pim was going to meet with my uncle. So you might be able to find her at the family farm near Grace Hollow. 
I really hope you can help the situation before things get too bad. Why do you think the goblins are so... reeled up? I don't have a clue. They've never been this angry before. My uncle and the other farmers can forgive a few sheep here and there, but they'll lose everything if the goblins continue like this. I'm surprised that you said <laughs> that <laughs> goblins... Uh, why do you say the goblins are angry? They're not hungry. Anything they kill is left where it is. I'd say the goblins are sending us a message, but no one on the farms has done anything. Pim checked. I can't blame the farmers for being nervous. I think Pim was going to meet with my uncle. Hmm. Which another quest? Ah, it's in skin grad. Did you notice how often the rain, the weather, is, the weather is rain here? just attacked me, Pim. My niece is missing. I'm hiring the hunters. Give me more time. I can figure out what's upsetting them. I can calm them down. Sorry, goblin researcher. Looks like I won. I need to protect my farm. My family. My niece Bella went out on her own, and now she's missing. If hiring those hunters will save her life, then I'm going to do it, even if Pim hates me. Hmm. I met Bella. She's not in any danger. Then she still has to make her way back here to safety. And that's not something I can guarantee with all these goblins around. I know my course. The Hunters are the only way to ensure my family's safety. If you thought Bella was missing, why not form a search party? She'd be fine if those goblins weren't out here. One of them just attacked me. You can see its body, there. The goblins are the problem, and Yurntan's Hunters are the solution. I know it. Hiring hunters isn't the way to solve this problem. I know that goblins can be unnerving if you aren't used to them, but wiping out two camps is going too far. Do you have a moment to help me with this goblin problem? I think yes. Do you know why the goblins are attacking? These goblins are more aggressive than usual. It's almost as if they're getting ready for war. When goblins fight, they make trouble for everyone. Goblins aren't stupid, though. They wouldn't get this aggressive without a cause. 
If Avorian goblins are so dangerous, why not let the hunter handle it? If searching through a few goblin camps to see what's upsetting them is all it takes to stop a tragedy from happening, I'll do it. Come with me? There's a bitter fish camp not too far. I have some funding left over. You can have it if you help. I'll help you find a way to calm the warring goblins. It'll be hard to miss the bitter fish's camp. It's just west of here. Look for the campfire. Or walk until you smell fish. Watching the goblins and studying their mannerisms would be a lot easier if their camps didn't smell so strongly. What do you expect to find at the bitter fish camp? I'm not sure, really. Signs of a struggle? Maybe a disturbance of some sort? It takes more than you think to get an entire camp this angry, let alone two. I'm familiar with this bitter fish camp. I should be able to tell when something's amiss. How do you study goblins? Same way you study anything else, I guess. I keep my distance and observe the goblins from afar. Sometimes they get comfortable enough with my presence that I can move closer. But I never disturb their lives or interfere with what they're doing. Hmm. Uh, how are we going to be able to stop the goblin war without disturbing them? What we'll be doing won't strictly be research. We'll be intervening for a good cause. This time we'll make our observations and inquiries from within the goblin camps. Hopefully it doesn't interfere with my research's integrity. I need to protect my f I need to protect my farm. She'd be fine if those goblins... It'll be hard to miss the bitter fish's camp. It's just west of here. Look for the Where the third guy? Keep your gold, was... Octavius. My friend and I are going to fix this. Do what you have to, but don't blame me, Pim. I need to protect my f Try not to call too much attention to yourself. I don't want to stress the goblins more than necessary. are really agitated. Let's investigate the camp quickly and with as little interaction as possible. I don't want to make anything worse than it already is. Oh no! They're shaman? Oh, look at the wounds! Goblin weapons don't cause trauma like that! These goblins are really at- There's an incredible totem in this shrine. Where is it? Goblins never move their totems. The missing totem and the shaman. It's all so horrid. But we should talk over what we found. Losing a shaman is enough to cause uncertainty within a goblin camp. But losing their totem too? No wonder this camp is so violent. 
I have some theories, but nothing conclusive. Nothing good. The missing totem is already enough to get the goblins angry and mobile. But the dead shaman explains the chaos. They're scared and unorganized. Desperate. Do you know how we can calm these goblins down? We can't. Not without their totem. Until they get it back, they won't appoint a new shaman. And whatever happened to the previous one seems suspicious to me. We should investigate the Sharptooth camp next. It's just southeast of Grey's Hollow. Let's go to the Sharptooth camp. Goblins are highly territorial. That's why the Sharptooth camp is a little ways away from the Spitterfish Goblin camp. Still, they're nearer than most other goblin tribes, and that makes for interesting research. You'll see what I mean. Tell me about the Sharptooth goblins. They're not as frightened of other creatures. I suppose having a camp near Grey's Hollow will do that. They do tend to get into more mischief because they're not as intimidated by the farms, but they're also not as reactionary. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I hope that Pim didn't see this. Look at this. Clavicus Wild. Yeah, I think yes. Ah, Sanguine. Sanguine, yes, Sanguine. Books, notes, nothing. Get drink. Mm. What? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> What I need to do, I didn't understand.
I scouted around and the goblins look agitated here too. Let's see what we can find. I've been watching these goblins for a while. They're worried. And worried goblins can be unpredictable. I haven't seen their shaman either. Let's look around. Hopefully my theory is wrong and everything is fine here. I would like to hear your theory. Beam. I have theory too, but... Let's check which one will be right. Try not to hurt them too uh, badly. Pim, what what can I do? Tell me, please. What can I do? Let them to kill me. Sorry, I can't. Been watching these goblins for Okay. Oh gods, not here too. The totem is gone and the shaman is dead. I've been watching these goblins. Rustic knife. A rusty knife? It's not one of the goblins. See the handle? Much too. This can't be coincidence. Uh, hello? Is someone there? I need help. Bella? What is Octavius's niece doing here? Ow! Uh, I'm normally so good at conversations. But this blasted trap on my leg is really getting in the way. Would you mind releasing it? I don't think I'll be able to form any more cohesive thoughts with it on like this. Thank you. Did I hear you mention a knife? Can I see it? Bella said she wanted to see the knife you just found. Go talk to her. I think I know what's going on here, but if she says what I think she will, then I have the final piece of the puzzle. Pim always talked about how dangerous entering a goblin's camp was. I was trying to stay away from the goblins, but I guess I should have been looking to stay away from the traps instead. You found a knife. Can I see it? Pim doesn't think the knife belongs to the goblins. She's right. It doesn't. This is my family's kitchen knife. My uncle said it was missing just the other day. But goblins don't steal knives. So, I think that your uncle arranged all this situation to blame goblins. And uh, after that to kill them with hunters help it's my theory then what is the knife doing here i don't know this could explain why the goblins are encroaching on the farms more than usual maybe the sight of the knife or the smell of it is turning the already angry goblins against the farmers and by the way why are you here bella I realized I just couldn't send strangers into a situation I was too scared to be in myself. I didn't get very far, though. Stepping on that trap was stupid. But I'm glad I was here to identify the knife for you. I can ask Pim about the knife. Maybe she knows. Finding the knife we planted won't change anything, Pim. You stole the knife? Why? Ask your precious researcher. Her work is very enlightening my work oh adventurer i think i know what he's doing i'm surprised that hunter can walk bearing the weight of his own self-importance promise me that you'll stop him my last publication was on the past major goblin wars 
What started them, the factors and variables that drove all these different goblin tribes to war, Yearn Ten is recreating the exact conditions of Bone Cliff Battle. Uh, what happened at Bone Cliff Battle? There was a rough few seasons. Two camps lost their shamans to sickness while flooding destroyed their totems. Neither tribe left the battle with enough goblins to support their camps. The only thing Yearn Ten introduced to the tale is a knife. Bella said that knife belonged to her family. Which explains why the goblins were so hostile to the farms. Yerntan doesn't just want the goblins to be violent. He wants to be paid. Yerntan must have the missing totems. Uh, how do you know? Because he wants to lure the goblins to his hunters. They won't be paid unless the goblins are dead. And Yerntan is lazy enough to devise a plan to get the goblins to come to him. I think Octavius let the hunters camp in Grey's Hollow. So, let's go to the Grey's Hollow for when, then. I'm trusting you to deal out justice for the dead goblins. I'll meet you at Grey's Hollow. to get the totems back. Nothing else will stop this violence. I've never seen goblins so agitated. I hope it's not too late to return the totems to them. I'd hate to have to write up this incident as a tragedy. Not if it can be stopped. You'd write about this? I think I'd have to. If we can resolve this peacefully, then others may need to know how we did it. Goblins are reasonable creatures, even in this state. If I return the totems, that might end this whole ordeal. Would you mind retrieving them? You aren't coming with me. I don't think I can bring myself to attack a goblin. I'll only slow you down in there. I'll meet you on the western side of Grey's Hollow when you're done. I probably shouldn't stay in one spot for too long. What do the goblin totems look like? The Bitterfish and Sharptooth Goblins have well-documented totem motifs. Both will have skulls in a place of prominence. Bitterfish totems are taller and incorporate feathers, while the Sharptooth totems are shorter and very clean. Bitterfish totems are taller and incorporate feathers, while the Sharptooth totems are shorter and very clean. I'll meet you on the west side of Grey's Hollow when you have the totems. Good luck. Peterfish totem. The plumes on the skull look fresh, as if they were recently added to the totem. 
The skull is clean and glistens like it's been polished. Eight. Hand me the totems. The sooner I can return them to the goblins, the sooner this mess is over. Here are the totems. Thank you. I hope this works. I was making good progress earning these goblins' trust, but Yerntan's actions might have ruined that. Well, there's only one way to find out. Good luck, Pim. Here they come. Don't attack them. I did not take your totems, but I am returning them. So please, stop. <laughs> Did you see that? The displays of aggression just disappeared. Oh, they're calming down. I don't know if they'll attack either of us on sight anymore. Oh, this is impossibly exciting. And what happened? I think they trust me. This is such a breakthrough for my research. See how they're not attacking us? That's proof that they're not hostile anymore. I couldn't have done this without your help. Thank you. Please, accept this. Thank you too. I am going to be able to return to my research with a new perspective on goblins. Although, I might keep my notes to myself for a bit. Maybe I can stop the next year in ten by delaying my publications. <laughs> if you are not going to publish, what will you do now? I suppose I'll settle down here and make sure the two camps are protected from more interference. They deserve the same safety that the farmers want for themselves. I'm sure, in time, the farmers can learn to not be so scared of goblins. Do you think the farmers can learn to live with the goblins in future. Between Bella and I, I think we can get Octavius to change his views. He'll help us with the others. Everyone was too blinded by their fear of the goblins to see Yerntan for the crook that he was. We can change that. You seem confident. I am. Like I said, the misunderstanding here was fueled by fear. But there's nothing to be afraid of anymore. There are other places in Tamriel where goblins and humans coexist. It's not impossible. Are you a new shaman? Or not? Mage? I am going to be able to return to my reason. Well... Let's go to the Ellen Glen. Finally, we arrived. Ellen Glen. Beautiful place. Ah. Recollection Mystic. Enemies here.
dangerous creature or not? Daedra worship the Aelids. Wow. Welcome, Proxy. Let us speak before we go inside. I'm sorry, Leromil, but I'm so admired by this statue. Great. I even uh, want to make one screen. This is Elenglin, an alien ruin. I expected to find the recollection here, as they have been searching similar ruins throughout the area. They did not disappoint. I sense an aura of Daedric power as well. Perhaps that aura drew them here. I am not surprised that you feel Daedric power, because I saw the Daedric ritual above us. An hour of Daedric power. Can you tell me more about this? Indeed. I sense an ancient Daedric shrine in these ruins, although I have no idea which prince it honors. If we find the shrine, we may uncover the recollection's purpose here. Do you still have the Akonir, Proxy? Uh, the relic you gave me, of course. What does it do again? Hermaeus Mora forged the Akonir to reveal memories related to Athelia. It was one of the relics instrumental in defeating the Forgotten Prince and eliminating any lingering memories. Hopefully the Akonir can help us in our investigations. It's strange, but I think that I used Akonir in... Uh, other life. How does it work? Anyway, tell me. The Echonir causes memories pertaining to Athelia to become visible as nebulous manifestations. When you discover one, simply hold forth the Echonir. The relic makes the memory unfold before your eyes. I foresee that you will need it, Proxy. All right. I will keep the Echonir handy. Between the recollection and the dangers inherent in most ruins, I suggest caution. My research revealed that Elenglin contains a maze filled with deadly traps. We must reach the heart of the maze to find a way through. <sighs> I am ready when you are. Okay, but tell me more about the Echonir, please. Hermaeus Mora knew he could not completely erase all knowledge of Athelia from the world. He locked away his own memories of her in glyphics hidden in Apocrypha. He created the Echonir to reveal any lingering memories of the Forgotten Prince. Where did you get it? The Echonir was forgotten for centuries in the collection of a Daedric Demi-Prince. Hermaeus Mora saw no need to reclaim it, until now. He arranged for the Echonir to come into my hands. I suspect I was always meant to give it to you. Well, what else should I know about Alan Glynn? Alan Glynn? An alien ruin, most likely a temple or monastery. As you can see, little remains above ground. The vaults below are more extensive, or so I have read. Adventurers report dangerous monsters and traps within. Those who survived, anyway. Hmm. Can you tell me anything about the Aelids? I am hardly an Aelid scholar. I know they were called Wild Elves, and they established Tamriel's first empire. Their city-states were spread across much of this region, but their empire fell during the First Era. Much about them has been lost. Why would their collection be interested in Aelid ruins? Many Aelids worshipped Daedric princes. Athelia may have been among them. When the recollection began to remember Athelia, they remembered her as their god. I think they are searching for shrines to Athelia. Mm -hmm. Mere speculation, but a logical guess. 
I want to know more about their collection. From what I have determined, they are a secret society with a keen interest in ancient ruins. The revival of an alien cult, perhaps. Our ally Baragon knows more. He recently tracked them to West Weald and has been looking into their activities. What does their collection want? Baragon told me that the group was initially formed to seek out something missing in their lives. It seems clear now they were looking for Athelia, even if they did not know it. Now that Athelia is free, their actions are becoming more conspicuous. But what are they hoping to accomplish? That remains a mystery for now. We know they aided Torvasard in his quest to remember what he had lost. And we know they are searching Aeliad ruins. Perhaps they continue to assist Torvasard or some other Daedra connected to Athelia in some way. Between the recollection and the dangers inherent in most ruins, I suggest caution. My research revealed that Ellenglyn contains a maze filled with deadly traps. We must reach the heart of the maze to find a way through. <sighs> I am ready when you are. So, let's begin. Ellenglyn. An alien ruin, most likely a temple or monastery. The walls below are extensive, or so I have read. Do you want to tell me something new? Hmm. The threads of fate reveal nothing to me. I cannot perceive them here. But the Daedric power I sensed outside is even stronger now. I am sure there must be a shrine below. We must press on. And we Beware. will do. If I sense the presence of Daedric power, the recollection likely noticed it as well. Oh, I'm <laughs> so... One of the adventurers. We did it. Oh my god. Look at this. Trap. We remember 
the frost trap. Let the dreads of faith restore your strength. Wow, what is it? Is it tree or what? Hmm. So, what Kaguchi forgot here? I didn't see such... I don't know, what is it? Is it tree or construction? I didn't hear before, see before. Can we avoid of this Lamia? Let's try. This star fall down from there. Leonard Nissel's journal. First entry. I found Ellen Glynn right where the map maker in Skindrad said I would. A typical example of late period Aelid architecture. A brief search revealed a door leading to the vaults below. If there are any forgotten treasures to be recovered from this place, that's where they will be. I'll begin my explorations in the morning. Second entry. Well, Ellen Glynn lives up to its reputation for deadliness. The upper passage is a gauntlet of swinging blade traps. Simple mechanical devices, easily avoided with careful timing. 
the forest beasts are more of a problem. Alan Glynn's upper levels are positively infested with wasps and horrors. They must have found their, their way down here through natural fissures or collapses. Third entry. I made it past the fluted upper hall and found myself in a series of chambers illuminated by alien crystals. Naturally, I encountered more traps, dark welkins in this case. The black crystals lash out with blasts of energy if you venture too close. I also found minotaurs, but I expected that. I avoided the brutes with a little stealth. Final entry. I reached the maze of Ellenglin, but I suffered a setback. I was ready for the gas grates. I have seen them in other early ruins. Wasn't expected undead gardens as well. Ancient skeletons hidden by green mist pouring from the grates. Didn't see the one behind me. I managed to retreat, but not before he got me. Too tired and hurt to continue right now. Think I will rest here for a bit, then make my way back to the surface. Yeah, and he died here. Leonard Nissels. One of the adventures. Look to you here. Let the threads of fate restore your strength. God. Wow. Let's check this place now. Nothing interesting. Feel the current of faith flow through. 
and skeletons. Many adventurers here. The chamber to the north should be the heart of the maze, but it seems we must find another entrance. You don't have an item you need for this. And what I need? The heart of the maze. Our way forward lies with not only a maze, but a tomb. Careful. The aliens were practitioners of necromancy. Seems my sources were not mistaken about the maze in Ellen Glen, or the deadly traps. We must find our way to the chamber at the heart of the maze and see where it leads us next. Ellen Glen Cave. The key must unlock these gates. Let us continue, Proxy. I sense that what we seek lies somewhere to the south.
The Daedric power I sensed earlier is even stronger here. The Daedric... Wow. We found the shrine. But who is... Oh, that is Athelia. Perhaps you can talk to her, Proxy? Of course. We found her, Proxy. Athelia, the Prince of Paths. Approach her carefully. She may appear in the guise of a mortal. But she's the very incarnation of the Daedric power that permeates this place. Oh. I do not recognize you, yet you seem familiar. Almost like this shrine. I know I should remember it, but I do not. Tell me, what is this place? Why am I drawn here? Well, this is Alan Glynn. We believe it's the shrine of a Daedric Prince. A Daedric Prince? Yes. Yes, I remember. That was what mortals called me. But Ellen Glynn is a proud citadel, not a crumbling ruin. Its people are wise and beautiful. They worship me. Wait. I sense... something. And another memory. Hermaeus Mora. Are you sensing the Echonir? The Echonir? Yes. That is what the Abyssal Cephaliarch called it. A clever little device he wrought to find and remove things that belonged to me. Thoughts, memories, truths he did not want anyone to know. Show me. I wish to see what it reveals. Mm, I'm not sure about this, but I guess I need to see the memory too. Fate's guidance is not clear to me at the moment. Proceed as you are inclined to, Proxy. No doubt the requirements of fate will make themselves known soon enough. Let us Everything you need. You must forsake the many paths. You seek to diminish my prince. Why should she agree to such a demand? To preserve reality. Her willfulness threatens all of existence. You let your fear control you and foresee an apocalypse that will never be. Depart, Mora! Ophelia disappeared as soon as the memory ended. Let us speak outside. Oh. I did not expect to meet the Prince of Paths this soon, Proxy. Nor did I expect her to look more or less mortal. I do not know what I expected. There is nothing left to learn in Ellenglen. Let us speak outside, under the open sky. I agree with you. It was cool. <laughs> We met Ethila her own. Great. Right. 
In forums, uh, players uh, judged uh, developers uh, that and said Let us that. Let uh, what we saw in the ruins, Proxy. Isilia looks like too uh, humanity, like human, you know. Uh, that she uh, should be more like goddess or something like that, but if we will imagine that now, just right now, her, um, not soul, just, uh, just she, uh, uh, she is living in uh, the body of mortal. Why not? Quite beautiful woman. Now it becomes clear. The Recollection also seeks Athelia. They hope to find her visiting places she once knew, just as we did. Yet Athelia seems confused. I do not think she has fully regained her memories or truly understands what happened to her. What did you make of the memory the Econeer revealed to us? I believe we witnessed the moment Emmaus Mora first confronted Athelia about the danger she posed to reality. And we saw that she refused to heed him. It is a hard thing for any creature to change its nature, especially for a Daedric prince. Well, what's our next step? One more piece of the puzzle remains, Proxy. You still need to investigate Rustwall Estate. Determine why the threads of fate there are frayed. When you are finished, find me at Baragon's townhouse in Skingrad. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now it becomes clear. The recollection also seeks Athelia. Well, friends, I will uh, finish. I will finish this part too, as level mill. And we will continue in the Rustfall. And we will soon check that place. Thank you for watching. This is a new chapter of Essa Gold Road. And at least uh, yet, at least now, I really like it.